Hey everyone, this is Alex Orchias from Aon Prestige Media, and in this video, I'll be reviewing the Xbot Go AI tracking gimbal. First off, I would like to thank Xbot Go for sending me this gimbal. Full disclosure, like all of my other reviews, I was not paid by them to create this video. These are all my thoughts and my thoughts only. So let's get started. The Xbox Go AI Cameraman Gimbal is a smart AI tracking and sports tracking gimbal for smartphones. It comes in a small box and includes the gray plastic gimbal, a small tripod for the bottom of it, a carrying pouch, and the cable. For this gimbal to work with the tracking feature, you have to install the app called Xbox Go on your iPhone or Android. Pair your phone with the gimbal via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, and then follow the prompts to set up what type of sport or scenario you're shooting in. Once this is set, you can drag a square or tap on your subject to always have this subject in the middle of the frame. They say you should put the gimbal as high as you can at the halfway mark on the field for best performance. Here are some of the clips that I shot with it one day when I went to go play pickleball. All right, so I am here testing out this Xbot Go gimbal. This is in selfie mode. I put the gimbal on a light stand using the quarter inch thread at the bottom. And now it is tracking me. I'm here about to play some pickleball and it's doing a really good job of tracking me actually. Uh, that's the limit. So let's see how far out it goes this way. and all the way to here. So it's a full, oh wait, it goes a little more. That is the limit. So this is the 180 degree around the gimbal that it can, that it can actually turn. Checking the tracking speed. Try to slow down a little bit. So I am pretty far right now and it's doing a pretty good job of maintaining. It's doing a pretty good job of maintaining me in the middle of the screen. Today, we are unboxing the Xbot Go AI Cameraman Gimbal. Here is the user manual. So here we have the gimbal. Here we have a carrying pouch that is included in the packaging, USB-C to USB cable. And then this looks like a little hand strap to put on the gimbal. Here's the gimbal, it has a joystick, some options here for FPV, LF, M, the power button, W and T, and then this, it looks like a pairing button at the very top. Has a trigger on the back, and then USB-C on the left side of it to charge. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the full review. After using it a few times, here's my conclusion on this gimbal. It does a decent job of following subjects using the app, although sometimes it will lose the subject when in lower light conditions or if there's many people in the frame. A major downside and essentially a deal breaker for me is the fact that the app does not allow you to film in 4K. Yes, you heard that correctly. You can only film in 1080p through the app, and if that wasn't bad enough, the video that it spits out ends up with burned time code at the top left of the screen, and then their logo at the bottom right of the screen. 
For a gimbal that costs $220, I think this is a major deal breaker for me and my use since I do this professionally. Although I wouldn't use this professionally, I think that for the regular soccer mom or soccer dad who is just wanting full games of their kid playing soccer, it would be a great option. Simply set it up at the sideline, click record, and you should have a fully tracked video by the time the final whistle blows. So here's the gimbal. It looks like your typical iPhone or Android gimbal. It has multiple buttons here. And yeah, I mean, it's an okay gimbal. I would personally just not use it professionally. For talking head stuff, it might be cool because let's say you're traveling and you wanna bring this and, and get some footage of you while you travel, talking to the camera, etc., moving around, and you don't actually have someone to be tracking you with a tripod, you can always just set this up, set up the app, um, have it track you, and that's it. You can do whatever type of content you wanna do with a gimbal that's tracking you. So in that case, it works. The only thing that I really dislike about it is the fact that it doesn't shoot 4K and then when it gives you a 1080p video from the app, it comes with time code and logo imprinted onto an already small resolution video. So that being said, I honestly will probably not use this all that much. I might, but I doubt it. It was a good try. Thank you for tuning in to this review. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more filmmaking, photography, and travel content. Thanks for watching.